right, hi everyone. We are here today in Las Vegas, Nevada for Con Expo 2023. This is our second day out here. We are at the Superior Screening booth on top of a massive wash plant overlooking the John Deere booth. And uh, we're gonna walk around today and tomorrow and show you everything we see. We just put her in third gear. We're uh, we're on the cat sim, running a uh, D8 with a ripper, single shank ripper. Just really just messing around here in this open sim world, trying not to uh, make the simulation break. That's always uh, important. I don't know why I just put it in neutral there, but uh, gonna go up to this pile here, drop her down to first, but I can start making a cut right here just in the middle of nowhere and then when I get bored of this I can pull out of it and then let's let's go over here Peter Gay here if you want to introduce yourself. Yep, my name is Peter Gay. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Steel Wrist Inc. here in North America. So, besides me, we have the uh, second largest tow rotator, I believe. Correct. That yep. you guys make. Uh, you want 26. to talk about this a little bit? Sure, yeah. So, this is equipped with a uh, SQ70 top. Um, it's the SQ version, so it's the wet hydraulics. Uh, it is the second biggest, like you said, the X26. The biggest is the X32 that's on display down there at the Hitachi booth. Um, I'll detail you when we get. Uh, anything that you know sets us apart? So the a couple biggest things that set us apart with the, uh, from the competitors is we'll start with the SQ on the top. We have the highest flow volume through the SQ coupler. So what that allows is no heat buildup. Um, we also have a high flow attachment. No other tilt rotator manufacturer can run a high flow attachment on the bottom, meaning a mower or an asphalt cutter mm -hmm. where you need fast volume to spin it. That would be number one. Number two is we have a cast housing. It's all cast, so there's no weld marks on the ears where you go through. So what does that mean? It means it's stronger. Other competitors weld, so every time you weld, you get a weaker point because you have to heat up the metal and blend it together. That would be the second biggest. Um, you, we got a front pin lock as well. No one else has it. We has the patented front pin lock where uh, the guys are demonstrating it. We can see it at the show, but when you come in and clip it, these basically oblong pieces pop up and the indicator green comes out, so the bucket is not able to come off, so it can dangle on the front pin. Again, that's patented by Steelris. No one else has that. Uh, we've got a one-point greasing system as as well and the last big thing that sets apart from the competitors is our build height so from basically the main pin to this pin where it connects we are the shortest so it has the best breakout force in all of the tilt rotator uh, market yeah and as, as we've seen on some of the others uh, the, the further out you get the more breakout force you lose so to have that compact distance there is a, is a huge advantage exactly exactly especially yep. you know the big machines have a lot of power but the smaller you get the more it matters exactly so Let's walk around the back here and uh, we'll take a look because this has the cassette with the grapple on it. Yep, correct. So uh, this is a gripper cassette. It comes as an option, but about 95% of the people get the gripper cassette. Um, if you don't get it with the machine, it easily goes on. You got two bolts on each side. Uh, it'll slide in. You got to connect two hoses on the inside and you've got a gripper cassette. It acts as a thumb because we don't uh, recommend thumbs with a tilt rotator because one, because of the build height, you're extending it and then you'd have to add on to the thumb to make it connect with the bucket and then if you have it on and somebody hits the tilt rotator you can possibly rip off the stick where it mounts and then the you thumb, have so. the uh, extra weight as well is it, also a factor especially when you're adding you know a little bit of weight off the end where you would normally have it to not have the thumb would be exactly a little bit, of, a little bit more beneficial yep yep so 
this gripper assembly can go on to an existing model if you don't option it with it, or is it something you have to option from the factory? No, you don't have to option from the factory. So if, you know, on this model, they, they, they price different on each of the models. So if you wanted to pinch pennies a little bit and not get it up front, mm -hmm. you can get it without it. And two years down the road, three years down the road, it's an option that can go on very easily. So like I said, two bolts, two hoses, it slides in and away you go. Yeah. Uh, the control system in the machine is already with the joysticks is already figured for it. Also the tilt rotator. So it's just a matter of putting it in, plugging it in and it'll work. Yep. Great. Yep. Well, thank you for walking us around this and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you guys back home. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Inside now, I'm with Brian Pombo of Menzi Muck, and he is going to walk us around this incredible machine behind us here. So we're we're this machine is the Menzi Muck uh, M545X. It's the latest uh, chassis design released by Menzi Muck. Yeah, so the, the Menzi Muck, I've been just amazed with since I first saw one, I think on television back in around 2010. Sure. It's just captivated me ever since then. It's just such an incredible machine. They've been, uh, the Menzimuk's been around since the 60s. Yep. It's gone through a series of evolution. Um, definitely extremely advanced at this point. Yep. And still advancing, but solution to all the excavation trouble you run into. It's an uh, all-terrain excavator. Yeah, uh, this is truly a machine that can go anywhere because everything you see here is has a degree of freedom. Absolutely. All, e operator has full control over every function, so you can fully adjust the machine to the terrain you're on. Sure. So it's basically fit around the operator to handle the terrain that you're faced with. Now, what's new with this machine as opposed to the previous generation? Pre the, the newest step is the chassis itself, just okay. the, the rigid leg design, um, the whole functionality of the chassis, completely different, allows it to, this style machine, four wheel drive, yep. the design allows it to sit on much steeper terrain than previous generation of four wheel drives. And approximately what, what degree slope could this work on? You could work on a, a 45 degree slope. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, and steeper yet, just depends on yeah. the ground conditions, you know. Now some specifications on the machine, the weight class, and... Uh... The, this machine, as it's seen right here, is about 32,000 pounds. Okay. So, um, yep, very uh, full adjustability, you know. From yeah. Getting on a semi-trailer, eight foot wide, to 15 foot across, you know. Because this can fit in a C-Box, right? It can, yep. yeah. They're, they're shipped directly over from Switzerland inside of a high cube C container. Yep. And we'll literally drive it right out of the C container and up to full full work right wow. away. That's yeah. incredible. Yep. The biggest advantage of, of this machine, full panoramic view of the terrain around you. So complete visibility. Um, full on backup camera, you can see objects behind you. Most of the uh, controls are at your fingertips, so full cat controls of your, your boom controls, and each leg has an independent uh, four-way switch in and out, up and down. So now we're behind a slightly smaller machine, the M220, and we're gonna just close out this segment by asking you what your favorite feature of the Menzi Muck is. The best feature, Full adjustability of the chassis. That's my favorite feature. This machine was actually designed to be uh, disassembled and flown in by helicopter. Oh, really? Reassembled fairly quick compared to sure. uh, the old machines. So it's, I'm guessing it's major components, boom, yep. uh, upper carriage, undercarriage? Yep. It all depends on the size helicopter you yeah, have. Absolutely, you yeah. Know, so it can be taken down right to leg by leg or uh, all the way down right to the just the motor assembly coming out. Wow. Yeah, yeah so that would be for like working on uh, top of a mountain or something? Absolutely. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Great. I appreciate your time today. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet and you. These are some beautiful machines. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're out 
outside of West Hall with the one and only Scooter Kid, Eric Jumper. The Scooter Kid, the Scooter Kid. What's up? Not much. Awesome to see you here. Nice, yeah. Awesome to see you guys here too. So why don't you just talk about your time here at Con Expo. What did you like? Uh, it's been a pretty good time. Uh, we have been doing a lot of a lot of the media work for the show itself. So sure. we were doing a few vlogs. Um, so we've had our hands full of that. But uh, I don't know, aside from that, it's been it's been a good time. As far as equipment and stuff goes, I wasn't like blown away by anything. I, I don't think anybody really was. Yeah, but the amount of technology that we've seen is is pretty crazy. So yeah. a lot of there's a lot of new stuff. Again, it's not like too mind blowing. I've seen yeah. a lot of it already. But the fact that it's becoming more and more present in everybody's brand yep. uh, is pretty impressive in itself. Um, a lot of AI. Yeah, a lot, I, I was, a lot of batteries. I was really surprised at the amount of AI. So I knew this was going to be batteries and electric and all that stuff. That I knew that coming into it, but yeah. I wasn't expecting the AI element. Yeah, there's a lot of like I said, it's not a lot of it's not ready yet. Yeah, we still have we've got a couple years before. That's well, going it's to play. you know you walk up to a booth and you know you see something that looks kind of interesting and you ask them, so when are we going to see this? Five years from now. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's out there, it's working, but it's not being sold yet. Um, I don't know. Above all, I mean, it's just it's been really awesome to just see everybody yeah because this is the one time that everybody's together like this Absolutely. so it's just it's been five non-stop days of shaking hands and talking to my friends that i haven't seen in three years yeah so yeah that's really all i come for that's yeah. it you know but yeah now do you want to talk about that snazzy hat you got on so i do have a tier zero hat on uh, if you don't know what tier zero is uh it may or may not be a brand owned by me and uh, yeah, so Tier Zero is, uh, for those that don't know, basically just a brand around the old school way of doing things, old school iron, uh, black smoke, open cabs, all oh, yeah. that kind of stuff. So That's what we like around here. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah. So yeah, cool, man. Hey, great to meet you, Eric. Absolutely. Great to meet you, too. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me out. Yeah.